More and more people are being diagnosed with melanoma every year, but at the same time, more people are surviving a melanoma diagnosis. Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Demehri, a dermatologist at Mass General Cancer Center. So what is melanoma? Melanoma is the most deadly type of skin cancer. If it isn't diagnosed early, it may quickly spread to other parts of the body. Melanoma develops from melanocyte. These are the skin cells that produce melanin, the pigment that gives your skin its color. Most melanomas happen on the face, arms, legs, and other areas exposed to the sun. People with fair skin and light hair are more likely to get any skin cancer, but it's important to understand that anyone can get melanoma. We don't know all the risk factors, but exposure to harmful UV or ultraviolet rays from the sun and tanning beds is the main risk factor for melanoma. What are melanoma symptoms? The first sign of melanoma is often a changing mole or a new pigmented skin growth. Melanomas are usually brown or black, but they don't have to be. Some are pink, tan, or white. You should get to know all the moles and marks on your body and check for any changes. Check your skin once a month. We recommend that people use A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma to evaluate the skin moles. A is for asymmetrical. Does one side of the mole look different from the other? B is for border. Does the mole have jagged border? C is for color. Does the mole have an uneven color? Is there more than one color present in the mole? D is for diameter. Is it bigger than a P? And E is for evolution. Has the mole changed recently? Call your doctor if you notice any of these changes in your moles. Even if you don't notice anything on your skin, you may want to have your primary care provider or dermatologist check your skin once a year. We often notice things that you might miss. How do we diagnose melanoma? We look at your skin across your entire body and ask you about your family history of melanoma. You can develop melanoma in more than one location at the same time. If you see a concerning mole, we may perform a skin biopsy. During the test, we remove a tiny bit of skin and examine in our lab to look for cancer cells. If we are highly concerned that it's a melanoma, we often remove the entire growth during the biopsy. If we do diagnose melanoma, we then check to see if it has spread to other parts of the body like lymph nodes. So how is melanoma treated? Your treatment options depend on factors like your overall health, the stage of the cancer, and if it's spread. Treatment options include surgery to remove the cancer and any affected lymph nodes, immunotherapy drugs to help your body's immune system fight the cancer, target therapy that attacks specific cancer cells, radiation therapy to destroy cancer cells or relieve symptoms, chemotherapy to destroy cancer cells, clinical trials that give you access to new treatments that aren't widely available yet. Melanoma can go deep into the skin and removing it can require pretty large incisions. Our plastic and reconstructive surgeons are experts at helping you look your best after cancer surgery. Researchers are actively investigating factors contributing to melanoma development. We hope this understanding will help prevent melanoma before it starts. Our team offers genetic counseling for people with family history of melanoma so you can know if you're at risk and take steps to prevent it. We also have a drug discovery program to find new drugs that target melanoma and stop it. Thanks to early detection and more advanced treatments, more and more people are living well after a melanoma diagnosis. If you see anything concerning on your skin, your doctor can help. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Sean Demehri. To learn more about skin cancer, click here and don't forget to subscribe.